Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'm looking at 12.6 gradients, tangents, and normals. 12.6 represents chapter 12, section 6 of the Pearson A level maths, pure maths year 1 textbook. Let's have a look at the key facts of this section. Consider the following coordinate grids. I've drawn the curve y equal f of x and I've labeled the point B on the curve. The x coordinate of B is A and the y coordinate of B is f of A. I've also drawn a tangent to the curve y equal f of x at the point B. What is the definition of the normal? Ladies and gents, the normal is basically a straight line which is perpendicular to the tangent. Okay, so as you can see, this orange line over here is perpendicular to the tangent. It meets the tangent at 90 degrees. There are two key facts. The first key fact, the gradient of the tangent to the curve at the point B is represented by M subscript T and it is given by F dash of A. So we work out the gradient function f dash of x and then we substitute x equal a into the gradient function to find the gradient of the tangent to the curve at the point B. Second key fact, the gradient of the normal to the curve at the point B is represented by m subscript n and it is given by the negative reciprocal of the gradient of the tangent to the curve at the point B. These are the key facts of 12.6 gradients, tangents and normals. I'll be implementing these key facts within this exam style question. Let's have a look at the exam style question. A curve has equation y equal 8 over x minus x plus 3x squared, where x is greater than 0. Find the equation of the tangent and the normal to the curve at the point where x is equal to 2. I'm going to start by drawing a diagram to illustrate what we're trying to calculate. So suppose I draw a random curve representing y equal 8 over x minus x plus 3x squared. Okay, so here's my random curve. Okay, consider this point over here, which has x coordinate 2. The y coordinate, we don't know. Now I'm going to draw a tangent to this curve at the point where x is equal to 2. So here is the tangent. It will look something like this. The normal to the curve at the point where x is equal to 2 is basically perpendicular to the tangent. So I can draw the normal. It will look something like this. It is perpendicular to the tangent. We want to work out the equation of the tangent and the equation of the normal. Let's start by finding the y coordinate when x is equal to 2. So, when x is equal to, we can work out the y coordinate by substituting x equal 2 into the y equation. So, 8 over 2 minus 2 plus 3 lots of 2 squared, this gives me 14. So the y coordinate is 14. I can label this over here as follows. Now we need to work out the gradient of the tangent and the gradient of the normal to the curve at the point where x is equal to 2. To do this, we need to first find the gradient function. Let's start off with the y equation. We can rewrite the first term as 8x to the power minus 1 and then we've got minus x plus 3x squared. Now we can work out the gradient function dy over dx. So dy over dx is given by term by term differentiation. So if we differentiate the first term, we get minus 8x to the power minus 2. If we differentiate the second term, we get minus 1. And if we differentiate the third term, we get 6x. So now we can substitute x equal 2 into the gradient function. So we've got minus 8 lots of 2 to the power minus 2, minus 1 plus 6 lots of 2. This gives me 9. So the gradient of the tangent to the curve where x is equal to is 9. So we can write down m subscript t is equal 9. By definition, the gradient of the normal to the curve where x is equal to m subscript n will be the negative reciprocal of 9. So it will be minus 1 over 9. Okay, we know that the tangent and the normal passes through 214. So we can label this coordinate as x1, y1. And now we can proceed forward by finding the equation of the tangent. So y minus y1 equal m x minus x1. We can carry out the substitution. 
So we've got y minus 14 equal the gradient of the tangent is 9 x minus 2. Okay, expand the brackets and make y the subject. So y minus 14 is equal 9x minus 18. Hence, y is equal 9x minus 4. That there, ladies and gents, is the equation of the tangent to the curve at the point where x is equal to. Let's proceed forward and work out the equation of the normal. Again, we start with y minus y1 equal mx minus x1. We can carry out the substitution. So we've got y minus 14 equal the gradient of the normal is minus 1 over 9, x minus 2. So y minus 14 is equal minus 1 over 9x plus 2 over 9. Hence, now if we make y the subject, we get y equal minus 1 over 9x plus 1, 2, 8 over 9. So that there is the equation of the normal to the curve at the point where x is equal to. Notice that in the exam style question, there wasn't a specific form that we had to get for the equation of the tangent and the equation of the normal. The two forms of the equation of a straight line are y equal mx plus c and ax plus by plus c equal 0. So over here, we had a freedom of choice. I've gone for y equal mx plus c for the equation of the tangent and the equation of the normal. So that there completes the exam style question and this teaching video 12.6 gradients, tangents and normals. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.